We were heading for a remote airstrip and a difficult landing for our pilots, all to get us into a place Prince Harry keeps coming back to. He's visited Luwondi National Park privately for the past three years as president of the African parks. And you can see why. Only half an hour into our journey and we found a herd of elephants. The need to protect them from poachers, one of the reasons he believes it's us humans who are killing the planet. I get accused of um, being happy for saying this, but I think now in today's world, I think it's more acceptable, but everything is, is, is in balance. We're the only thing that's putting everything out of balance. It is, we are literally driving ourselves to extin extinction. All members of the patrol are maintaining their all-round defence. Here, a partnership between the British Army and local rangers is working to track and stop the poachers, with both sharing their military skills. And it is working with no elephants or rhino killed in the past five years. Greetings! Harry was also here to pay tribute to guardsman Matthew Talbot, who was killed by an elephant in May while on patrol. Fired with enthusiasm for conservation and specifically counter poaching, his professionalism, personal courage was a hallmark of who he was. In Malawi, poverty and the high price of ivory is one of the reasons for poaching. Getting the local community to buy into protecting their wildlife couldn't be more important to Harry. In everything he's saying, it's almost like you can hear his father, Prince Charles, who over the years has talked so much about climate change and environmental damage. The thing is, Harry can reach out to a new generation on those issues that he says are fundamental to our survival. Speaking out so passionately means Prince Harry has got his critics. Taking us to a place that he cares so much about is an opportunity for him to make the world wake up to how fragile our planet really is. Rhiannon Mills, Sky News in Malawi.